Hello everyone, I've got Captain America with me, and I'm back in my Churchill toy box to continue the build exercise. My goal today is to create the exterior of the ship. I need to build a hull around the interior and add the upper deck up on top. So before we get started with that, we're going to need to move these shipping containers out of the way. Don't need that one. We'll need this one. And I've also placed the crane out here. And I'll show you where that can be found a little bit later. All right, to begin adding the upper deck and to make this look exactly as I have it, it's best to begin with a terrain cube. And we're going to place this right out here off the end of this tower block just like this. All right, that's going to be a temporary block. That's just going to help us place the blocks that we need. Uh, let's see, this is the one we want. So for this, we're going to put this right up on the top corner of that block, just like you see it there. <clears throat> then we're going to place another one this way. And another one off this way. And we're adding both the ceiling for the interior and the upper deck at the same time. And this is styled using Star-Lord's Galaxy, uh, that terrain customization power disk. We're going to place this one here like that. And then this one in here like that. All right. And this will form the back wall of that little chamber. And then while we're right here and it's easy to access this, let's go ahead and put the ladder in. That's under platforming toys and, oh man, it reset that drawer on me. <laughs> I had it selected so I didn't have to scroll. Sorry about that, I should have dropped this out ahead of time like I did with the other toys. We're going to place two here on top of each other like that. <clears throat> and that's how we're going to get down into the ship interior. All right. And then picking up this block and putting it back down gets us back to this part of the terrain drawer. We're going to grab the next size larger and this is going to sit over here just like that. And then we're going to grab this piece Put this in here like that. We're going to stack it too high. And then we can use this piece like that. And a couple of these on the end. And I'm going to put a row of these across here like that. So there is the front of the ship. And don't worry about the ugliness of the sides. We're going to cover that up here in a little bit. All right, so here's the upper surface of the ship. And this will be the upper deck beyond that. And now we got to build a little entrance around this. And so let's pick this one up and put it down. We'll stack another one up on top of it, like so. One of these on this side. And then we're going to need this on the front to plug a gap that we would otherwise have. And then see, this should have been ah, right. Sorry about that. I'm missing two pieces. This one's going to sit in here like this. We're going to put another one. Actually, take that one back out. 
I'll just slide this one over. <laughs> Even I can get confused sometimes. This is such a complicated build. All right, so there is our entrance down into the interior from up above. And so those are all the terrain blocks that we need. But obviously it looks pretty ugly on the sides. And so we're gonna need to um, begin covering this surface. And to do that, we're gonna use blocks out of the blocks drawer. So if we come up to the blocks drawer and we go to the left, I should have had one of these selected as well. We have this large block wall I'm going to put this right up against those blocks like that. And for the style on this, we're going to use steel. So if we scroll over to the right a little ways. Here we go, steel. I'm going to set that to be my theme. And so we're going to use that to encase the ship. Oh, and before I forget, we do need a few more terrain blocks. Sorry about that. Because as you'll note, the edge of the ship doesn't go all the way straight down. And also, this is going to help us center the stuff on the deck. So we're going to run a row of these down the side. and then pass this really huge terrain block like that, and then two more. And that's as far as we need to go, because as you can see, this is going to take us right over here to the edge of that. All right, so for this, we'll pick this up and put it down. We're going to use this smaller one up here to cover the front of that. And the purpose of this is to just really make this look like a ship's hull. So there we have that. And then this is going to run down the side. And you'll notice it's not actually touching those terrain blocks back there, but that's okay. So that will take us all the way to the back end of those blocks. And then coming around this way, we're going to run this down. And I'm not going to fill in this whole thing, but I'm going to give you enough of an idea so you can see what you need to do. And then I'll do the rest offline. So this is going to encase this upper deck as you see here. And we'll probably have a gap on the other side if we don't fill it. So let's run one of these over here in that corner to plug that gap. All right, and then we'll pick this up. And in order to cover up all the ugliness outside, we need to go down that far. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six high. Over here, of course, we only have to go five high. Oops. <laughs> Now the little flick trick doesn't want to work. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. And then you're going to run this all the way down the side of the ship. And this steel surface is going to make it look a little bit more like a freighter 
than what the uh, current texture there looks like. And of course you're going to run this around the end and go down the sides just like before. And you're going to take this all the way down as well. And you'll notice it doesn't go all the way over to the terrain and that's fine. This actually is going to give us a nice little area where we can hide creativa toys. So that's going to be a good thing. And I would have loved to have made the outside of the ship more curved so that it looks more natural, but that would have taken up a lot of memory and I'm not sure it would have looked real smooth anyway. I mean, I could have probably built a path that was curved the way I want and attached all these blocks to the path and curved them around there. But again, that's a lot of work. And I'm not sure it would have worked really well for the top part of the deck anyway, since I didn't have any curved pieces to put on top of that. So it is what it is. <laughs> and besides, unless the player takes off and flies around, they're not really going to see the outside of the ship anyway. We just want to do this to kind of cover up the ugliness of the terrain blocks there. And um, so, yeah, just enclosing the interior. And then the other thing we're going to have to do is put the railing on. And so let me go back down to the inside of the ship and we'll grab one of these railing pieces. Put it down. We're going to put the railings up around the outside of the deck here. And you're not going to be able to put this right up against the edge because of that block. So you're going to have to leave this out a little bit. But you're going to run this all the way down and around that part of the deck. You're going to do the same thing up here and put this around the up, upper part of this deck. Okay, and then you're also going to want to cover up the top of the deck and we're going to use the uh, steel again to do that. And so this will cover up the top part of this. And when you get down here, you can kind of put in a little row of these smaller blocks in here at some point. Alright, so that's what you're going to do. And at this point I'm going to go offline and finish covering the outside of the ship all the way around with steel blocks and run that railing around. And I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, I am back and I've got the exterior all covered as you can see and the railing goes all the way around on both the lower deck and on the upper deck and I left an area here that is not covered on this upper deck because that's where the uh, building there is eventually going to sit and of course I left this deck uncovered because you don't really need to cover this entire thing I think that looks fine the way it is. But this helps cover up some of the ugliness up here. All right, so let's go ahead and add in the remaining details and wrap this up. And we're gonna begin with the shipping containers out here. So let's go ahead and bring this over. And pick that up. And we'll slide it over here because we're going to need this. And for right now, we'll just drop this out here. All right, under the terrain drawer, let's place a few of these as spacers just to kind of help us get our spacing right on these things. We're going to put three rows of these all the way down. So I'm going to line this up with the edge of the huge terrain block here on the deck near the door just like you see here we're going to put two of these down like you see and I'm sorry if the uh, there's a little bit of crackling on my microphone I'm not quite sure what's going on with that connection seems to be a little weird but we're going to place two of those like that. And then we're going to place essentially four blocks till we get to the next row. 
then we'll place two of these down. Oops. And once again. Like that. And if you do this right, then you should have two more blocks sitting here. So that should be the spacing all the way across. And then we're going to put these six wide like that. This middle one will only be five because we got to leave room for the crane. And these over here will be six. Like that. At this point, you can take the spacers back out. So there's our first set of shipping containers. And I could just run those all the way down, but I thought it'd be a little more interesting to be able to have some gaps in here. All right. So for the next row, we're going to put a block in here like this. And then once again, a group of six, two deep. And then this is going to slide over here and line up with that down there. And again, this is only going to be five. So like that. And this will be six. Four. Six. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so there is that one. For the next one, I'm only going to put in a gap here of two blocks. And once again, we're doing six. And this should be just five. And five. And this one will be six. So again, we're leaving room for that second crate. that to leave room for the next set of them. Once again, we'll do six of these. And we're just going to do five here. corner and I'm lining these up with the center of the shipping container down there and this one should be six containers long and there we go so there's all the shipping containers so then we can take the rest of our spacer blocks out and we're good to go that adds a lot of visual interest to the top of the freighter and makes it look like a, a shipping freighter. All right, for the cranes, there's actually two different ones we're going to use. This one, as I pick this up, you'll see it's the San Francisco Trolley Crane from Building Sets Group 2. We're going to center this in this little area 
about like that, and about like that. We'll put another one up here. And again, that adds some visual interest. And also, if you place some enemies up on top of this, it could add for uh, some verticalness to this level, which is very helpful. And then let's go ahead and bring this down where we need it. So I'm going to pick that up. We'll bring this down to the deck. Just kind of center this out here on top of the deck. And let me make sure I got this where I want it to be. Gotta find that screen grab. Alright, so this... Put that about... Uh, trying to center it on there a little bit. <laughs> it's not really liking that, but I'll go ahead and place it right about there. And that is the upper tower, which looks a lot more interesting than something I could have just built out of blocks. So I like that. And then in Building Sets Group 2, we have a second kind of crane, this jib crane. So we're going to place this over here next to the tower. Again, this is just for some additional detail up here. So that is helpful. And the last thing we need is the door. And this is from the Gameplay Toys drawer. It's the automatic double door. And we're going to place this right in here, just like that. And then our starting pad, which we left way down here in the bottom deck a long time ago, um, I think. <laughs> Where did I leave that deck, that starting pad? Oh, there it is. That's right, I had moved it. So we're going to bring this up and put it at the front of the ship where we want the player to begin. We're going to orient it in that direction, just like that. And with that, the build exercise for this toy box is done. Next time, we'll start implementing the logic for this toy box, beginning with the sky change that needs to occur when you enter and leave the interior. Until then, I want to thank you for watching and for all the positive feedback I've gotten on this series so far. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Before you go, please hit the like button and leave a comment to let me know what you think of the exterior design of the freighter. It's not as fancy as the interior, and it's a little boxy, but it works. If you have any suggestions for how to improve the freighter exterior, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking my photo in the lower right corner if you haven't already done that. Take care.